Hi. So, uh, uh, in the past we've looked at how to brew sake, and I put together some videos with my daughter, uh, Maya, on uh, brewing. And uh, so now I want to look a little bit at how to brew or how to make koji. So in this case, I've already done the uh, washing of the rice, the rinsing, the uh, steeping, all of that uh, part. And in fact, I've steamed it as well. And so we're just at the end of the steaming and we'll, we will kind of take it out of uh, steaming, uh, spread the koji, koji ken on top of the rice to, to prepare it for uh, the culturing that we'll do. Now, uh, the koji ken that I'm using here is a new kind, so I'm kind of uh, practicing with it. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, it's a uh, strain that I got from Japan, from uh, Akita uh, Kano. And um, anyway, we will we'll, uh, see how that goes. It's a much smaller amount than you normally have for this, so let's we'll see if we can spread it over there. Anyway, uh, let's get started in that. Okay, in so uh, I've taken the, the steamed rice out of the steamer and spread it over this pan uh, here for it to cool. And, and uh, you know, I want it to come down to about 100 degrees, maybe a little bit higher, but not too much higher. And um, uh, actually, I steamed it for about 45 minutes. And then I checked it to see if... Um, you know, if the kernels were fully steamed and, and you know, were soft all the way through and, and they were, so that was fine. Now this is uh, kind of a test packet that I have for the, the koji kin that we're getting. It's a bigger packet than um, we'd actually use normally. Um, and this is the first trial here. I think that's right. Maybe I've got that wrong. Um, koji that I... Yeah, broken up. I don't know if you can see in there, um, but it all the walls of that package are colored with a yellow-green kind of mustard looking almost. Um, and hmm, I wonder, let's see if we can put this in a, uh, to work with it. You can kind of see there's a, a like a dusting that goes up from the package as it poured in there. Um, about 40 ounces of rice um, and this is about an ounce I mean a, a gram sorry about a gram of the, the koji ken and I have not mixed it with anything so sometimes we will mix it with a, uh, uh, a flour that's that's been uh, roasted you know to make sure that we kill off anything that might be in the flour um, but here, this is just the, the raw koji can um, that comes out. So we'll, we'll just see what happens here if we try to spread this a little bit. I, it's very fine. I can see some of it going down. Um, I don't know if that'll, you know, if it'll pick up on the, uh, on the camera at all. But um, anyway, um, so that and then I'm going to mix this in um, this now there would be a little bit on the surface um, we want to uh, get it mixed up pretty well and um, actually uh, also this rice here this is just Calrose uh, rice that I'm using uh, for this test um, generally uh, the koji that you want for your sake you want it to be the best rice that you're using in the sake should be the rice that you make koji with um, the, that goes for the highest milling rate and um, you know the best uh, style so if you if you're going to use different kinds of rice different milling rates the koji should have the best uh, rice the highest milling rate um, that will give you sake that that you know is better Look really, really big.
this uh, one gram of this particular koji ken should uh, handle about three and a half pounds of rice. Um, so uh, it's a little bit above what it what it should uh, do. In that uh, this is about two and a half pounds, forty ounces. So. Third round here. Here's one gram of the uh, koji ken uh, spread over uh, the rice here, mixed around a bit. Now the next uh, step here uh, will be to put this in a uh, wrap it in a cloth. So I'm going to put the cloth here and just move it over. It's not too bad, but uh, it might have let it get a little on the cool side. And this might be a little bit big for my cloth here, too. That's kind of on the big side. I'll take a put another cloth around it um, or integrity. Um, actually, I'll pull this off when to put in the probe, but this will, this will kind of get it. And here's the cooler. As I said before, or as I, well, let's see how we how we do this timing wise. But uh, I put the probe in the koji itself so that we can monitor the koji temperature. And I have the glass of water here to provide the humidity as needed. I've got this little pan to block the direct blowing on the koji. And uh, then my, oops, I'm careful here. And then I've got my probes um, for the container temperature. There we go. Okay, so um, this should uh, hold it for about 93 degrees and you know for the first 24 hours or so and then I'll start upping the temperature after that. Um, I'll check it in 12 hours and 12 hours and then we'll start moving up the temperature a little bit and uh, see where, where we go from there. Thanks.